Uh, hello, good morning. Uh, welcome to Unique Devotions. Uh, my name is Brandon Bear. Uh, just finished making a video uh, explaining why, so please, you know, feel free to go back to that first video. Um, I'll probably name it Unique Devotion 1, something along those lines. Uh, and uh, then you'll understand the reasoning behind why I'm doing what I'm doing and uh, maybe just start to provoke your mind in the right direction. Um, so, without further ado, we are going to start here in uh, the book of Luke. Uh, um, it's called Dedication to Theophilus, uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Um, Inasmuch as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those things, which have been fulfilled among us, just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and ministers of the word delivered them to us. It seemed good to me also, having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first, to write to you an orderly account, most excellent Theophilus, that you may know the certainty of those things in which you were instructed." And we stop there. So today, um, the question that really jumps out to me uh, was started from the word certainty. Um, it seems like there's a lot of maybe ideas going there, but certainty just jumped out at me. And um, he's writing so that we would know the certainty of the stories that were being told of, of Jesus and and what he's trying to trying to promote, and for me, certainty. What am I certain about in my life? Um, am I certain in my life that I have faith in God, in Jesus? In the, in the story of Jesus, um, am I certain, here's a deep one, that the Holy Spirit really does live inside me, outside of me, all through me, um, able to guide me when I am willing to accept and listen to what he's saying. Um, certainty is kind of uh, faith. Um Faith and absolute certainty kind of go hand in hand. Absolute certainty is knowing without a shadow of a doubt that something is. And faith is knowing without a shadow of a doubt that something is, but without necessarily seeing it. And absolute certainty can, can go the same way. Absolute certainty maybe is more of... Uh, know for sure, like I'm absolutely certain that the, the Bible is right here in front of me, that I'm wearing glasses, um, but, you know, the unseen is really what faith is all about for the majority, but also total faith in what is um, really going on uh, physically, and I have I have faith that this is a page and that I'm actually reading from it, that I'm not just, you know, making this up in my head and I'm totally uh, disillusioned <laughs> to life. Um, so absolute certainty um, and certainty. Those are the kinds of questions that pose to me, um, am I certain now that this is written, now that I am actually reading it, am I certain that it is going to do something through me, that it will affect me? And when I grasp that there is certainty to this, that there is certainty to the Holy Spirit in my life, um, I, can, I can move forward and really ingest a lot of information here and let it really affect me and my heart so that I can do um, the right thing in my actions um, every day. So uh, 
What are you certain about? Is that a question for you? Um, go back and re-listen to the verses um, even a couple more times and see if you can uh, get the same questions to pop out at you or maybe some new ones. And don't try to necessarily force it. Just let it happen. So uh, thanks for listening to uh, Luke chapter 1, verses 1 through 4 uh, in our uh, unique devotions here. And um, please uh, write comments down below to help help me guide uh, myself and, and you guys on this journey. And um, please like this video again so your friends can see it. And uh, we will just stay committed to devotioning devotions to God <laughs> and uh, hopefully strengthen our devotion uh, to him. So thanks again. God bless till tomorrow.